Hello again, people of the internet. My name is Just Board, and this is Just Board Gaming, and they released yet another minisode of the To the Moon thing with the Sigmund Corp. So, I'm gonna play it, and I still have to play Bird Story, because that came out a bit ago, too. So, I'll be doing that shortly as well. Well, at least it's starting to leave. Guess we'll save the cleanup for after the break. We gotta get that external fruit collector set up. Perfectly cooled in the snow and kept fresh, too. Uh-huh. Get this. It's like we're inside and the fridge is outside. Mind blown? Sure. Good job. I knew it. I wonder if the others are leaving early now that the road's cleared. Eh, might as well. I can't believe this calls... I can't believe the calls pushed our Christmas party this late. Are you heading home early, too? Yeah, why not? I'm spending the eve with my sister's family. They don't live far from here. With a little brat, huh? Yeah, well, their little brat still got me a better gift than yours. Hey, at least I tried to get something for my partner. Unlike a certain somebody. Guess again. What is that? It's an ambient sound maker. It cycles through soothing background sounds like beaches or a chorus of crickets. Check this out. Sounds like it's something I could do on my phone. Oh yeah? Well this also allows for recording custom track of your own to loop back. Just press record and you can make your own custom ambient sound to work on too. Again, phone. I guess neither of us are pr particularly good gifters. Hey, I still, I'll still take it. I'll probably record Bob getting scolded to the custom track and fall asleep to it <laughs> or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, how about you? You got plans? Well, ooh, come here, you stud! Oh my. <laughs> Is it the wine, or have you been getting handsomer, handsomer by the day? My dear, I'm sober as a brick, and you're still steaming like a hot bun. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> when I look into your eyes, of sand, it's as if I'm hearing the gentle waves of the ocean. <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> if not for my back, I'd pick you up and... Hey. Hey. It's snowing outside. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough for today. Yep. I'm heading out. You do that. All right. Oh hey, thanks for the sound machine and whatnot. Sheesh, don't be too grateful now. It's what makes our job possible. I just realized I should have done a test recording to make sure I actually got the audio right this time, because on the last video of my Battle Block Theater and stuff, it wasn't... It was quiet, and it's probably going to be quiet again. I'm such a fool, but what can I do about it? I can barely hear those blips. I think I might have turned down the game volume a bit too much. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? Hello? Uh, I think I did put down the game volume too much. I can't do anything right, can I? That's fine. Can I look at this? No. Okay. I can press this. And go in the elevator. Go to the lobby. Eva, about earlier. Hey, don't worry about it. No, lass, you don't understand. You see, sometimes when a man loves a woman, oh, shush you. 
I don't think we need to know. Maybe next time. Okay. How about over here? No point in going there now. Fine, I guess uh, there's no point to coming here. Let's go to the lounge. Hey, what's up, people? I'm so relieved that we're finally getting a break. It's nice to spend some time with the family. Have a good evening, Lisa. You deserve it. Wait, that's a girl? Wait. What? <laughs> From here, I have it like not in full screen, so I can't actually see all the pixels perfectly, but from here it looks kinda like Ah, never mind. Everyone does, especially Willis and Tamia. <laughs> to be honest, I'm worried about them. Yeah, they do work too hard for their age. Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to do theirs when the time comes. Are you the same person I was having issues with on the first minisode? Whether it was a boy or a girl? Probably. Man, I know Herman Corp's got our night covered by contract and all, but I still feel kind of uneasy. There are computer... Computer... Com <laughs> yeah, but I guess that's a few ways to get more some reliable... I can't talk today. Time off in this job. Besides, we'll be doing the same for them, so they better do a good job. Okay, so your competitor, I said it right that time, is uh, letting you have a time off. That's not usually how these things work, but whatever. The door is over there. And now I can go to the offices, which I could have gone first, but screw that, because that's boring. I mean, who wants to go to an office? I don't know. Hey, Eva! Hey, Eddie, how's... Oh, no, 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 door! Oops, my bad. Oh, well, no biggie. Talk to me. Hey, can you press the elevator button for me? Why? I thought you just pressed it. Yeah, but it seems like it comes up instantly uh, almost every time you press it. That's silly. It's just luck. Well, come on, just give it a try. What the? Thanks! <laughs> I think I might have just broken the fourth wall there. Because we're like the player character. Willis McMillan. Lisa Vanquez. I think I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, then oops. Dr. Tammy McMillan. Eddie Doyle. Uh, not that one, this one. Dr. Washroom. Nice office you got here, Dr. Washroom. I'm quite jealous. <laughs> Can I sprint? Probably not. That's okay. This is an okay walking speed, I guess. My door is open. That is my door, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, I remembered from the last mini-sode. You alright, Roxy? Oh, hi, Eva. Yep, I'm just waiting on Rob. His ride's under maintenance, so we're carpooling. Hey Rob, you ready? Just a minute. Anyway, what you up to? Erm, um, not much. Just heading home to have dinner with my sister's family. We always have our Christmas dinner together, and they've been waiting. Wow, how nice of them. The turkey surely wouldn't have stuck around had I been me. I bet. You got any plans for tonight? Well, I gotta make meet up with some folks later. But first I got a date with a good old couch and some ice cream. I'm gonna grab a whole bucket and scoop it, and I'm gonna spoon it. Sounds like a lovely time. Yup, yup. Alright, I gotta reset my recording because it's about to stop. You know, bandy cam and all. Office of Robert Lynn, Office of Roxanne Winters. You ready now? Just a minute! <laughs> Good grief. Okay. Do, do do Uh, I will grab this, I suppose. That's my bag. And this is... Dear Diary, today I... Shoot! Not again. The door is open, too. Better lock it away for good.
Wow, I just got a bunch of Steam messages for some reason. Well, I'm gonna ignore those. Because I'm recording. But yeah, <laughs> I think on the first episode I forgot to check that and I, Dr. Watts actually... Oh! What, are you Robert then? You are! I just got ready, but now Dr. Winters forgot her stuff. Good grief. <laughs> you ready yet? Almost! That's a Murphy's Law. Bottles of homemade ketchup. I thought he was kidding. <laughs> um, why is that off, though? This is a bit... Shouldn't it be pressed against the wall? That annoys me. I have OCD, so... I just like everything to be orderly. Good grief. That's fine, I guess, though. If he wants to freaking have his shelf not pressed up against the wall, that's his agenda. Okay. I guess I, uh... Got my stuff, so I'm going home, right? Heading off? You're still here? Yep, and I'm staying here tonight. Wait, what? Everyone's heading home. What can I say? It's just the kind of hard-working Samaritan that I am. Coming through! Neil? Bob? It's Robert. Rob? <laughs> Anyway, have a good evening at your sister's place. You're really just gonna stay here on the only break we've gotten in months? Yep. Oh, this mansion myself? Yes, please. <laughs> Alright then. He's obviously hiding something. Hey, if you want. Hmm? Eh, never mind. Well, ah, oh, jeez, I hope you guys can hear that better than I can. Eva, hey sis, I'm heading over now. Forgot to close your door, Eva. Just uh, putting that up there. Oh, I should have. I should have known that. Why? Wh what other reason would it be to? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, at least it's explained, so it's not too OCD or whatever my problem is. <laughs> oh, my mouse is in the way. I should move that. Probably. And yep, there he is. He's staying there all by himself. But isn't this like Christmas for you guys? Yeah, well, I don't know what he's up to. Hun, you should invite him to dinner. What? Don't be absurd. You're thinking too much into it, silly. I don't mean for anything else, just for a co-worker's sake, you know? I know the guy. He's not one to come over. Anyways, get the dishes started, will you? I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hun. I'll see you then. Ava? What's that? You okay, hon? Are you there, Ava? Oh, it's two Avas. Or Evas, however you pronounce it. That's weird. <laughs> Ava? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'll be there in just a bit. Okay, hon. I'll see you then. You're not even gonna acknowledge that? You're not even gonna... It's an Eva... A Zombiva! You remember? Neil created Zombivas! In the... Wait, that was in the memory though. How would they be in real life? That's weird. <laughs> and they kinda just vanished too. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. Come on, 30 this time's the charm! What are you doing? Is that the mime, mind memory thing? Or is that something different? Uh, it looks like a silhouette of a... And the head is red. And the moment of truth. <laughs> you rock. 
<laughs> Motivational posters. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Circus. <laughs> circus? <laughs> circus? Did I really just say <laughs> Circuit? Abnormality detected. Main power disconnected. What the? Bleepity bloop blop. <laughs> How does that even... I better get down to the basement and reset the switch before someone sees. At least the elevator is on auxiliary power. I can reach the basement from the lobby. Well, that's convenient. What am I... I saw a magnifying glass. Oh. Bottles of homemade ketchup. Mmm. <laughs> I prefer mustard. I like mustard. People think I'm weird for that, though. Like, apparently, a lot of people find mustard to be gross, but I don't get that. I like, I, it's just, it's, to me, it's delicious. So, I don't know, all you mustard haters, you don't make any sense to me, but that's okay, because I don't make any sense to you either. I press that. There we go. Go to the meeting room. I'm not even supposed to be here, but I decided to go here anyway to see if there's any secrets. Any secrets? No, it looks like I came here for no reason. Such wasted potential of a miracle. What is it? Is it the dream thing? Well, whatever. Wait, why, if that's the dream thing, why would you say... I mean, you helped Johnny. Right? Hmm. And, uh, you had cases before that, too, so... I don't know what you're on about, dude. Is there any point to coming into here? Probably not. I'm probably just wasting my time, and everyone else is. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go to where we're actually supposed to be going. Let's go. In there. Yes. The lobby. And over here, over here, because there is an arrow pointing to it. There's an elevator. That's a weird looking elevator. Why is it so big? Oh well. For tech, for a tech facility, power supply is sure is unreliable. Access profile loaded. Dr. Neil Watts. Access time, 1947. Alright, let's get you booted up first. Power status, charging for reignition. And now let's see what happened to you. It's almost as if someone did a manual shutoff. Fetching operation record. I don't understand. This, this can't be right. There must be a glitch in the system. Who's there? I didn't even hear anything. I have turned down way too quiet. Gosh darn. Will I ever fix my freaking audio issues? Okay, hold on. I gotta... Oh. I can attack. But I gotta reset the recording. Because bandy game. Okay. I probably shouldn't even acknowledge when I do that. Because it totally breaks the... Fluidity. But whatever. There's a wall there. <laughs> <laughs> There's footsteps. Who? But the door was locked. Then it was probably someone with the key, a dingus. There you are. I didn't even press spacebar. Power restored. I didn't even press it. I was like, it's probably going to be someone with the key. So, <laughs> I expected it to be a trick, and I was right, but it did it anyway. So, whatever. <laughs> that helps. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Ain't no one gonna whack my sister like that. <laughs> Good grief. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do... Ain'ts. She used an accident, alright? Your face was an accident. Your face jokes. The ultimate of jokes. Ah, uh, not really, but I like them. Do you just go around the office swinging a broom around all day? Look, I was in beast mode and she suddenly just appeared on my turf. 
It's not my fault I was born with such crazy fast reflexes. Why do you guys come over anyway? You're one to ask, staying all alone in the office on your holiday off. Who does that? It was her idea. Darn right it is. I ain't... <laughs> I ain't having no partner of my sister sulk by himself on a night like this. I wasn't so You just shut up and listen. <laughs> Even called in some old friends and we're all gonna have a nice dinner together. And you're gonna enjoy every minute of it. Wow, you kind of reminded me of someone I know. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> why, why am I going over here? I told you... Hey, sorry about your face. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was... A, it was the softest end of the boom. Sheesh. Come to think of it, I should have been charging you for a facial massage. Go away. I'm leaving. There, there, hon. It's actually not that bad. What was that? Why is he still here? Shoo, shoo. I'm leaving. Hello, sir. Sir, why am I I'm walking this way for some reason? Can I open the box, Dad? Can I? Go ask Aunt Eva. It's not ours. Man, Neil. We only just got here, and you already got all... Bleh. And you already got Tracy all worked up. Workplace hazard can't be helped. Yeah, it's a dangerous place. Don't even want to imagine what you do with a mop. Our insurance policy forbids me from handling one. <laughs> Good grief. Have you guys not had a break since the end of the year? It wasn't 100% work time, but we were always on call. Can't really help when people go poof. Man, I can't imagine doing that kind of work. Don't you guys get stressed out by the very nature of it? You tend to get used to it. Some more than so than others. Dude, what's in the box? Er, we actually don't know. What? Yeah, come to think of it, those are the exact same boxes that were here last year, too. Well, can we open them? No, I don't think those... I don't know who those were. Bleh, whose they are. So they just sit here? Yep, that's what they do. I don't get it. Me neither. So are they like decorations? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> you have anything else to say? We're gonna get some dinner out and ready soon. You say put and warm up your jaws. What? Hey, don't talk to me. Okay, I'll just be on my way then. It's blue in here. Hey. Oh, hey, yeah. I thought you went home. Yeah, I thought so too. But I was happily picking out on the couch. Ava called me and asked for a pickup. What? But she's already here. Oh, oh. Hello! What the? Hi, Uncle Neil. The last time you came by, you called me Poo Poo Face. That was Tommy. He's mean. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> wow, that kid's growing up to be a lizard. <laughs> er, sorry, Lily. It's been a while, Neil. Yep. Ever just dra bleh, dragged you guys out of your living home, or, huh? Oh, it's nice to come and visit. The kids were getting bored at home anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Let's go talk inside. We could be missing dinner by now. Oh yes, I should go say hi. I will visit with you because there's no new people. and I, <laughs> There is new people. There's, I just on my words. Wait! Neil, I want to visit. Fine, you go. You go do what you do, Mr. Unsocial Me in real life. That's actually how I'd be in real life, probably. But uh, I'm in a video game. When I'm in a video game, I can do whatever I want. And if I want to be social in a video game, then I can be. Even though that's not how I would be in real life. Whatever. <laughs> what is that, a beaver? It's Plat Plat. It's not mine, but Ma said I am its caretaker now. I protect it from all evil. Can I see it? Are you evil? Not really. Hmm, okay. You can have Plat Plat for five minutes. Aw, that's cute. Yay, Plat Plat likes you. How can you tell? Because it's not trying to get away, duh. <laughs> Thanks for having us over, Eva. Hey, I just hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Not at all. It's nice to take those two rascals out. Johnny's house has a beautiful view, but it's a bit remote for those kids to camp out at. They do go play outside nicely, but I keep fearing that they'll trip and fall <laughs> roll down the cliff. Yeah, that'd be suboptimal. You should come visit more. The kids would like that too. Well, if my characters could do anything outside of my control, they maybe, I don't know. Hey, are you a real doctor? What do you mean? Like, do you do surgeries and stuff? No. Then you're not a real doctor. Do you watch, or do you listen to Dr. Dre? No. Me neither, but Dr. Neil... I can't talk. But Neil says Dre is a, not a real doctor, and he still got mad respect, so back off. Good grief. 
When I grow up, I want to be like Dr. Dre. Or you didn't get that from me. I feel like that's a reference to Dr. Oz or something. Hey, Jamie, what are you doing with that stuffed animal? Don't whistle on me, son. Chillax, Dad. Just a plat plat. <laughs> you guys got any policy about bringing in guests, Ava? Technically, yeah, but as long as it's just hanging out in the lobby or lounge, no one cares. Funny, I work at Cupboard, and we got cams everywhere. Seemed way more high profile. Well, yeah, but it's not like we keep people's memories sitting around on discs. Huh. That makes sense. Feeling all better? I'll live. You know, Eva, hun, you come, you gotta come over more. I rarely ski anymore. Well, winter it tends to be a busy season. Hopefully we'll get more of a break soon. Don't work too hard now. You know I'm always here if you need me. Aw, sisterly love. How's Jamie been doing at school? Oh, how's Jamie? <laughs> the rest is doing fine. She says he wants to do what you do when you when he grows up, actually. But I ain't having none of that. One mortician's enough in this family. Actually, I'd say what we do is more about life than death. Yeah? I guess in order to talk to her, I have to walk around the entire table. Fair enough. Hey, thanks for the help for driving Lily and the kids over. No biggie, as long as they're holed up on your side of the deal. Ha, <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm serious. Two buckets of ice cream, no cheap outs. Yeah, Roxy, I- wait. I spelled with only one X before. Ah, whatever. Like we're talking jumbo sized here, with a capital J. And when I say buckets, I mean buckets. As in, I want to use them as recycling bins when I'm done with them. Yeah, I'll... Where do you shop? <laughs> Probably like Sam's Club. <laughs> Two jumbo recycling bin size ice cream buckets. No cheap outs. Got it. Sam's Club has, like, giant stuff. I've been there. A few times. Not very often, though. Hey, has anyone seen Neil? We ran into him in the hall, but he didn't follow us back in. Seems like he went back down for some reason. I wanted to follow you back in, but he would have none of it. But that's okay, because he's me. Kinda. <laughs> he's just doing what I would do in real life. I've said this already. Why am I repeating myself? Um... Why am I here? Wait. Oh, I didn't want to go here yet. I want to check out the other rooms first. Wait, I need to reset the recording. Okay. I thought better. Hello. Hello? Who's calling? Who is this? Son? Is that you, Neil? Why aren't you talking to them? Was it something they did? No, it's not them. Then why... Why do you... Why did you come back? I told you already. It was my sister's idea. We could have stopped her. What? Look. Thanks for coming back and bringing the folks and all. But I just... I don't... Don't do something like that again. Do what? Where are you going? Home. I've got some things to work on. What the heck's wrong with you? I don't know what's going on here, but for pineapple's sake, loosen up. Those people come all the way down here to spend the evening with you. When was the last time you even had a dinner with other people? My sister brought her family to keep you company. Even Lily and the kids came. You still remember them, right? You even made up that stupid game based on that chase. Or case. <laughs> what are you going to do when you go home? Get a frozen pizza by yourself? Just give yourself a break for tonight. Sheesh. Anyway, I'm not going to stand out here in the cold, tossing words at you. You know what? You do what you want. I'm heading inside. Just know if there's, there's a chair upstairs for you, when I, whether, you bleh, whether you're coming or not. Gosh darn, I can't read. A yeah, door opened by itself. You should probably close that, because, you know, it's chilly. That's the end. I wanted to go to the other room, though. Okay, here's here's what I'll do. After the credits are done rolling, I'll uh, I'll do this over again, and then as Ava go down to the basement, because I want to look at what's there if I even can. Because I, you know, you know how these games are. Like 
in Two Moon, he does that thing where uh, if you didn't click on that pill bottle, you missed out on it. So like, there's probably something I'm gonna miss out on. Oh, it's cute. But yeah, there's probably something I'm missing out on by not doing stuff. Or maybe there's not. I don't know. But with these kind of games, you know, you gotta check everything. You know what I mean? So, Neil decided to come visit after all, and it's all sweet, and he's being social and, and stuff. It's cool. It's cool. Yes. Yes, sir, Bob. Oh, and he's recording it for his, uh, his, uh, sounds that he relaxes to. That's, that's sweet. That's nifty. <laughs> I could barely even hear the music. I'm sure... Oh, I sure hope it's louder for you guys. Um, a Jordan, a friend who's created many of the Freebirds pixel art from To The Moon's Lighthouse, Anya, to Neil and Eva's co-workers in this minisode, is currently hospitalized and going undergoing chemotherapy. If you enjoyed this work, please consider sending a donation to his family to help. His mom's PayPal address is that. You can also support him... Bleh, send him supporting words bleh, at that. So, yeah, if you guys want to, you can go do that. I wish I could, but I don't have any money. <sighs> well, there's more. Okay. Well? Well, what? That wasn't so bad, was it? Everyone had a good time? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, can you guys give me a lift? Neil says it did... Uh... What? What? You're not here. Neil says he needs a company car for tonight. You're not even going to acknowledge that? Sure, hon. Let's get you home. Oh my gosh, this is her memories. Or something. Wait, how would that explain Neil's pill bottle, though? What? I'm so... What? 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 That doesn't make any sense. Oh, well... Um, I'm going to do... Okay. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. Uh, go back and as, uh, Eva, check the, uh, machine. Because I said I was going to do that. So I might as well, you know, actually do that. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back here again. And let me tell you, going through that... <laughs> it's, uh, far more exhausting than it needed to be. <laughs> Because it's not like I can just skip through all the dialogue. I have to also wait for everyone to stop moving and everything. And that's just <laughs> annoying. But that's fine. Now, let's see if I missed anything. If I didn't, then this was a complete waste of time. Access profile loaded. Dr. Ever Rosaline. No point in messing with the power. Okay. No, that's not what I wanted to click. Fetching operation arrestor. Bleh. Emergency manual shutdown by Dr. Neil Watts. Man restart by Dr. Neil Watts. Weird, why did he shut it down and restart it by himself? Except he didn't. Did he? Okay, so I did miss some pretty important information. Uh, then the, in that case I will stick this on, like, the end of the episode. Oh, man, but so many things don't make sense. If this is Eva's memories, then why is there so much with Neil? Like, what is he doing with this machine? How did he shut it off without him shutting it off? <laughs> why was it, what was with those pills that he had to take into the moon? Maybe it's like a combination of both their memories or something, I don't know. But things are getting weird. Anyway. That's gonna do it for this episode. Because it's, I just finished all that can be done. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.